Well, hello, my friend. Hello, my friend, and welcome. Today is all about how to think like a famous artist and get free publicity for your art. So I am going to do a very, very, very quick sound check and make sure everyone can hear me. So let me see if you can hear. Okay, I'm getting a thumbs up thumb that it's good, but it, I wanna know everyone who's here. And the only way I know that is if you share it in the comments, hi Miriam, I am I can hear you all the way from wherever you are in the world. And then just for fun, tell me what it's doing there weather-wise. We have six inches of snow here in New York. It's crazy, but winter is finally here. All right, I'm real excited. I'm seeing the comments. I see people are here and we are gonna get started. Okay, so hello everybody. So nice to see you. So here's how to know if you're in the right place. If you wanna build your audience without expensive advertising, if you want to find those high-end art collectors, everybody, I always tell people, the best way to make money is to raise your prices. And the first thing people say is like, well, where do I find those high-end art collectors? And by the way, let me just, oh wait, yeah, everything looks good. It's making sure that the screen is nice and big. So if you wanna find those high-end art collectors, that's what we are talking about today. So important. You're also in the right place if you wanna get recognition for your art. So many people I talk to, so many artists I talk to, they say they want to get their art known. They want to get their art out there. They feel they want to build an audience for their art. If that is something that you want to do, if that's one of your goals for 2021, you are in the right place, my friend. All right. So I want to hear from you, which best describes you. You can share one two or three in the comments. Build your audience, find high in art collectors, or get recognition for your art. So let me just take a peek and see what people have to say. All right. And if you have want more than one of those things, we're with you. We get it. If you're excited, by the way, for today's topic, just hit the thumbs up or even give me a heart emoji. I would love to see a little bit of love in here. Hey there, Jen. Nice to see you. Okay. We're going to keep on going. Yeah. Jan says she wants to build her audience and I'm not seeing too many other comments. By the way, I will only see your comments if you come inside the Artist Profit Lab. So if you're not watching from that location, I do invite you to join our free group. Anna will be standing by to welcome anybody into the group who gets the request. Okay, perfect. Let me keep on moving along. All right, whatever your motivation for being here today, i fully support you. And they're kind of overlapping goals anyway, don't you think? All right. So here we go. This is what we're going to cover. How a famous Dutch artist, and if anybody recognizes who that famous Dutch artist was from our very first slide, you can pop that into the comments. I would love to see who can guess. Um, which famous Dutch artist strategically built his brand 400 years ago? Whoops, going the wrong direction. That's my fault. Um, you're going to learn why publicity is the gateway to your art biz success. And you'll also get your hands on a free pitch plan and publicity calendar. Stay till the end and I'll tell you how you can get that. And if you're not sure what a publicity calendar is, don't worry, my friends. I will explain all today. And also, you're going to learn how to get a shout out over on my Instagram to my 19,000 followers over there. I can't wait to share your beautiful art. Oh, and finally, a live Q&A. If you're watching inside the Artist Profit Lab, so come on over. We would love to chat with you. Okay, so just to remind, that's like I said, we're broadcasting from inside the Artist Profit Lab. If you're watching this um, some other time on YouTube or on Instagram uh, after we're live, this is where you can go to join us for our next live stream. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay, hopefully that's it. All right, so what worked 400 years ago today, no, I'm sorry, what worked 400 years ago to sell art still works today. 
All right. Who guessed Peter Paul Rubens? Anybody guessed? Okay. Jan guessed um, Rembrandt. Okay. And someone says, yeah, that was their guess. So Peter Paul Rubens was an artist, a diplomat, and most importantly for today's talk, a shrewd entrepreneur. So just like now, he lived during a time of great political upheaval, but he didn't let that get in the way of his art sales. After a truce in the Dutch revolt, his workshop, so this was during the time of peace, his workshop could barely keep up with the old, with the orders that were coming in. However, since he was a diplomat, he had insider information and he knew that this peace wasn't going to last. And also he knew that that was going to be bad for his art business. So let me share with you what he did to accelerate his career and create some art business insurance, which is what I'm suggesting that you do as well. So what he did was he had engravings made of his finest works and distributed them around the royal courts of Europe, meaning he did publicity. Brilliant, right? And listen to what happened next. This meant he now had commissions coming in from throughout Europe, from high-end art collectors. These, they were not were in his country. So they were not suffering financially from the war in the Neverlands. And so Rubens didn't have to financial, didn't have to suffer financially either. It's one of the many reasons why Rubens is so famous today is because of the publicity he did then and continued to thrive as an artist. Now, if you want more recognition for your art, you can get publicity too. And it's not as hard as you might think. So I want to hear from you. I'm going to go peek into the chat. If you want to learn how to get more publicity, could you give me a big yes in the comments? Let me just take a peek and see. And by the way, there is a delay between when I ask a question and when you answer the question. So don't think that I'm ignoring you if I don't give you a shout out. Let me just take a quick peek to see. Okay, so we got some yeses. Uh, and because of privacy features on Facebook, I'll have to depend on Anna to let me know who is saying yes. I do see Jan is saying yes. Faith is saying, uh, oh, Faith said that was my guess. Okay, so Rita says yes, she wants more publicity. Okay, beautiful. All right, thank you. Anne wants more publicity too. All right, keep on telling. I will keep checking. Don't, don't you worry, but I am going to move ahead. Okay. So if you know you want publicity, so you know you want to pitch the press, you know you want to get exposure for your art, but you're stuck because you don't know what to pitch to the press or how to go about it, I've got something you're going to love. In the spirit of giving, I have a special gift for you. And this is from my friend, Selena Sue. She said, I can give this away to all of my fans because she knows how much artists need to get recognition for their art. So what it is, is a publicity calendar. And if you don't know what it is, don't feel bad. So many people um, don't know what this is. Let me explain to you now what it is and why you want to get your hands on this. So what is a publicity calendar? All right. So for this particular one, it's 12 months of story ideas with the dates and also hooks to help you get your art featured in the press. Story ideas that you can pitch to your local newspaper, your local magazines, or beyond if that is your ambition. And it also smart ways to tackle sensitive and timely issues that you don't sound tone deaf. But here's one more thing I want you to know, my friend. 
even if you feel you're not ready yet to push for, for publicity or to pitch the press, you should still get this calendar because you can use all of these story ideas for your own content planning, for your own emails, for your own social media, for your own blog posts. So these can be used for both. So if you are stuck on what to post on social media, if you are stuck on what to put in an email, if you are stuck on what to put on a blog, this will help you. So this is a fresh copy uh, for 2021, full year's worth, 179 story ideas. It's bonkers. This will save you so much time to help you create endless media attention and buzz. You can download it for free by going to shulmanart.com forward slash pitch. And Anna's going to pop that right into the chat inside the Artist Profit Lab group. Okay, by the way, I have one more thing I want to share with you because I really want to help you get more recognition for your art. I want you to get more publicity. I want to share your art on my social media feed. So here's what you have to do. It, don't worry, it's free. You don't have, and, and the calendar is free and this is free. So all you have to do is download shulmanart.com forward slash pitch. So you go there, it's Selena's, you enter your name, your email, boom, you'll check your email and get it. As soon as you've done that, the step two is I want you in the comments right inside the Artist Profit Lab, I want you to write the word done. And like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube or anywhere else, we're not going to be checking those places. So if you want the shout out, come inside the Artist Profit Lab. And then the last thing I'll need for you from you is your Instagram handle. That way we can tag you. So what we'll do is on my Instagram stories, we're going to tag your gorgeous artwork to give you exposure to my 19,000 followers. We'll give you a shout out as long as you post this before December 22nd. So obviously, if you're here live right now and you do it, that counts. But if you're watching this on a replay, you just have until December 22nd to get the shout out. You still will be able to get the publicity calendar after that date, but we're just only doing the shout outs until the 22nd. I would love for you to score some major publicity for your art or your art classes. And this pitch calendar, this publicity calendar is yours absolutely free. Download the calendar, crack it open, grab some tea and dive in. And by the way, once you've, once you've downloaded, I would love for you to come back here and tell me what you thought of it. If it gave you good ideas, if you loved it. Hey, if you hated it, let me know that too. Just be honest, but come back here and let me know. All right. So here's to more fame for your art. Okay, so now I have time to do some takeaways and um, questions. And I see a few people have downloaded it. So remember, if you want a shout out over on IG, just um, put the word done in the chat below and also your Instagram handle. Okay, so now I'm going to just peek and see if there is any question. So I'm going to give a chance for people to catch up. Yeah. And those of you who have downloaded it, just make sure that you give the Instagram handle because we don't know everybody's Instagram handle over there based on your name. Okay. So Faith and Laura Lay, we would love to give you a shout out. If you have an Instagram account, just put the handle in below. Okay. So does anybody have any questions? I'll give a few moments for us to catch up. Okay, yeah, Anne-Marie, can't wait to give you a shout out. All right, and if you have no questions, just say, hey, no questions, I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, this is real important. All right, so we are taking two weeks off because Christmas, Hanukkah, it's actually my birthday next week, by the way, I'm gonna be 52, Shh, don't tell. All right, so we're taking some time off for the holidays, we're coming back here, Thursday, if you want to mark your calendar, I know I actually don't know what the exact date is, but um, the first Thursday in January, we're coming right back here. And I am going to be sharing how to plan your content calendar. That's going to be one of our Facebook lives for January. Another one is going to be 
where to pitch. So if you're interested in getting publicity and you're looking for, well, what are the blogs I should be pitching to? What are those magazines? Don't worry. I am coming up with a list just for you of the top 20 places that you should be looking at to pitch your stories and your art. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you everybody for the little happy birthdays. And I can't wait to give everyone a shout out. So it doesn't look like we have any questions today, which is fine. I'm going to move on ahead. I just want to thank everybody who showed up here today live. And thank you everybody who's watching on replay. And here is to more recognition for your art in 2021. Stay inspired, my friends, and I'll see you next time.